China not allowing us to take holy dip in Mansarovar Lake, alleged Indian pilgrims. Hindu devotees, who have traveled to Kailash Mansarovar on a holy pilgrimage, have alleged that Chinese authorities are not allowing them to take a dip in the Mansarovar Lake. This comes less than a month after a standoff between India and China over access through Nathu Law Pass for the Yatra. On May 8, Union Minister for External Affairs Sushma Swaraj had announced that Nathu Law Pass was opened after India took up the issue with Chinese authorities. Addressing media persons at a press conference, Sushma Swaraj had said, I had told Chinese Foreign Ministry that relations between governments cannot prosper until people-to-people -people relations are improved when Nathu Law Pass was closed during last year up, it came as a blow to people. I am happy to announce that it has now been open for Yutra. Swaraj, who was in China for Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCOS Foreign Ministers Meet, had said that her Chinese counterpart Wang Yi had agreed to allow Kailash Mansrobar Yutra, which was stopped by Beijing after the 72-day long Dokwam standoff. The tour is organized by the Mi each year between June and September in cooperation with the government of People's Republic of China through two different routes, Lipuok Pass, at Arakand and Nathu Law Pass, sick him. The Nathu Law route was open to Indian pilgrims in 2015. After crossing over the Nathu Law Pass, Indian pilgrims are ferried by Chinese transport to Kailash. The route through the Lepuog Pass, at Arakand, which involves some trekking, is done at an estimated cost of about Tars 1.6 lakh per person. The duration of the Yatra is 24 days for each batch, including 3 days in Delhi, for preparatory work. This route passes through important sites like Narayan Ashram and Patal Bhuvaneswar. The pilgrims can also see the scenic beauty of Kielik Valley, or the Om Parvat which has the natural occurrence of snow in the shape of Almondas Mountain. The route to the Nathu Law Pass, Sikkim, is motorable and suitable for senior citizens unable to undertake arduous trekking. From Gangtok, the route passes through scenic places like the Hangu Lake, and through the vast landscape of the Tibetan Plateau. It is estimated to cost about Tars 2 lakh per person, and duration would be 21 days, including 3 days in Delhi, for preparatory work. <laughs>